Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. You are Crafting with Kim Byers and today I'm going to teach you how to make a football t-shirt. I'm going to teach you how to make a cross country t-shirt. I'm going to teach you how to make football and cross country shirts for the family. So if you guys are like me, your fall is consumed by sports. I love it, love it, love it. My kids are cross country runners. I am a cross country coach. Um, I have tons of friends that are football moms and candidly, I used to be a football mom, used to be a basketball mom, used to be a baseball mom. <laughs> We played all the sports um, and now that we've gotten older they have really honed in on the sport that they are extremely successful in. So we are going to make t-shirts for our fall sports. We like to wear our cheer on our shirts, don't we? So let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. I have a couple of free cuts that I designed for you. So we'll go over there. I'll show you how to pull them in. I'll show you how to change the colors on them, add your kid's name, put on their jersey number, anything that you want to do to it. And then we'll hop over to the craft table and put it together. So let's get going. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space, and these are the two designs that I created for you. So football is my favorite season, cross country is my favorite season. You can modify and tweak these designs to be pretty much anything that you want them to be. So if you have never uploaded designs to Cricut Design Space, the little upload button is right here, and I am going to put a video up above, a really quick video that just shows you how to do that. So. Once you brought them in though, I wanted to show you all the things you can do to this. You can eliminate pieces of it, you can change colors to it, you can also add text to it. Um, you could even change it to say, you know, fall is my favorite season and put pumpkins on it. So here's how you would do that. So let's use the football as an example. We'll pick the word season to change the color, really simple. You can just go up and change that color to whatever iron-on you have in your house. Um, the next thing you could do is you could say, you know, football is my favorite season and then add your child's number. So let's just add some text there. I like varsity letter for this type of collegiate kind of like or sports um, design. And so you can just choose that and then you can add anything you want to it. So your child's number is 17. Um, so you could put that within the football. You could, you know, move things around if you want to. So you can do it that way. Or you could say, you know what? I really want this to say fall. I don't want to have anything to do with football right now. I want it to say fall. So I'm going to turn off football and turn off the shape of the football. And then I'm going to go into images and I'm going to search for pumpkins. Cute little pumpkin. Insert that make it a little bit smaller, and so now pumpkin is my favorite season. So you can literally do everything to this design. Now, I personally am going to use the cross country as my favorite season, and this is the t-shirt I'm gonna be making today, um, and I'm just gonna leave it in all black. But if you like this design, or if you wanna look at some other designs, I wanna show this to you guys, because this is so, so easy. You can look for um, on design bundles, and I'll put links to this down below. But you can get bundles for like $2.50, $5, um, that has all kinds of different designs in them. And then you do exactly what I just showed you how to do, which is tweaking and changing it to be what you want it to be. So when you look at these designs, don't just see um, you know, game day vibes. You might want to say game day and then take out the word vibes. You could you know, change that to something else. You could, um, that's my bro, or you could say that's my son, and you could put their number on the helmet, or you could just eliminate everything and have only the helmet. Do not be limited by what you see on the screen. Cricut Design Space tutorials, you're gonna be able to do so much with all of these different designs. Okay, so back to our designs. So I am actually going to turn off um, all of the football or the pumpkin elements right now and then we are just going to work with the cross country. So now that you have your design exactly the way that you want it, the next thing to do is to measure your t-shirt and determine how large you want that design to be across your shirt. I usually like my designs to be about eight inches wide and so I am going to just grab this and pull it out to eight. Now if you want to be extremely precise about it, you could go up into um, 
size and just make sure your little lock is done so that everything moves proportionate. And so now my design is an eight by 7.2. So that's about perfect. Okay, so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna choose our machine. And so you can use all of the machines for this. And by the way, you can use the Joy for all my Joy people out there. You would literally just take this design and peel it apart. So you would be able to just get cross country, just get is my favorite season. Um, and I'll put a video up above for contouring so that you can see how to do that. It's actually just a couple of clicks, so it's not hard. Okay, so the final thing we wanna do before we move onto the mat is we wanna select our design and we wanna make sure that the attach button is done. So I'm just gonna detach it so you guys can see. I'm gonna select the entire thing. We're going to attach it. And what that's going to do is it's going to send it to the mat all together. So now let's hit make it. We're gonna cut this all at one time, one color. So we'll mirror this because it is an iron on and then hit continue. Once it finds our maker, the next thing that we need to do is choose our iron on. So sports flex is great for polyesters and dry fit. I am going to be using everyday iron on today, but you have foil and you have glitter and all the different choices. Um, so get creative with your design. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit the craft table. Here we are on the craft table and these are the things that we're going to be using today. So I have my t-shirt. I picked this one up from Hobby Lobby. Um, so this is like a three quarter sleeve, like a baseball tee, um, but I use it for all the sports. I love these tees. And then I have my Easy Press 2 as my heat source with my mat. And then I have all my different iron-ons. So I'm going to be using black in every day um, today for this particular project, but the foil is absolutely gorgeous. Then you have glitters, you have um, sports flex and you have all of these different patterns so I think this one would be great for like the football um, but then you could also use this if you wanted to change that up you know and do pumpkins um, or something more fall related so oh and don't forget a clear acrylic ruler and your weeding tool okay so let's move everything out of the way and we'll put this on the mat and get it over to the maker so I use my straight edge cutter for a lot of things. Um, and so today I'm going to use it for this remnant piece. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be big enough. And so the nice thing about the cutter is it has a ruler on it in both directions, um, as well as the cutter and keeps everything straight. So I need eight and a half by seven and three quarters. So let's just see. This is just over eight and a half, so that's gonna work perfectly. And then obviously it's 12 inches long. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna leave this on here and then we can fussy cut and trim out the savings. So let's go sideways and go to seven and three quarters. Let me just close and trim off. So this is our extra, so we'll put that aside for another project. And so with iron on, you want to put glossy side down, matte side up, because remember we're cutting it backwards. So we'll just place it on our mat in the corners. And you can use your scraping tool to put this down or even a brayer, um, but I think that this is going to be sufficient for Today, my mat is pretty sticky. If you are having trouble, you know, with your mat losing its stickiness, put a little uh, scotch tape in the corners. Okay, let's go to the maker. So we'll just feed the mat under each side. And once it flashes, select go. So now with our design back on the craft table, what we wanna do is we want to weed out our design. And sometimes it's easier to leave it attached to the mat if you, um, you know, struggle with holding the whole thing. So sometimes I just leave it on the mat and start to remove the centers. But if you're looking to save or trim off material, go ahead and take it off the mat. And so you could, you know, save little itsy bitsy pieces. There's not a lot left on this. Um, there's a couple corners and things like that. But I'll be honest with you, I use the little pieces um, for small elements of designs all the time. So I'm an advocate of saving everything you can. Now that your design is fully weeded, what we want to do is we want to take our ruler and make sure that we're centering our design exactly where we want it to be. So so my design is roughly eight inches across. 
This area of my shirt is 16 inches, so my center point would be eight. And so the nice thing about the curve in the um, lettering is you can kind of tell where the center point is, right? So eight right here would be my center point right where that C is. And so I can adjust it just a little bit. And then I can even use my ruler to see that it's, you know, a straight line across. And so I think this is about where I want my design to be. So then I can take my ruler out. And the nice thing about iron on is it's kind of sticky, right? So you, once you've placed it, it's there. And so then you can go ahead and use your easy press. So I've checked the easy press heat guide and it says that I need 315 degrees for this polyester blend and for using my um, pressing mat and for this type of iron on. So then I'm just going to place it down. And then we're gonna do 30 seconds on this side and we'll flip the shirt and do 15 seconds on the other. So now we pick it up, move it back to the cradle and let's flip our shirt. Make sure that you don't have any wrinkles, that everything is perfectly flat. And then we're gonna put it back on top for 15 seconds. Okay, so now we put it back on the cradle. We'll flip our shirt back over and we'll give it a few minutes to cool. And then we'll peel it off. So when you peel a design, for one, this needs to be cool to the touch for this particular type of material. And so we peel from a corner and just go slow and steady. Okay, so I hope you loved that. I hope you hopped down below and grabbed the free cut. I put links down below for everything that we used today and even some of the things that we didn't use that I think you might really love, like some of the patterned um, iron-on designs and things like that. And um, if you have any questions, if anything was confusing today, I want you to craft with confidence. I want you to enjoy crafting, having fun. I love to craft, obviously, um, but I love sharing it with my mom and my friends and I love sharing it with you guys. I want you to have fun doing it and not get frustrated. So leave me questions down below. I'll do my very best to help you out. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join me for all my future videos. See you next time.